Hey guys, welcome back. In the last tutorial, we finished the modeling for this environment, and today we are going to unwrap this. So let's open your UV editor. And start unwrapping the small props first. Let's start with this pipe. Go to create and just select the automatic. Now go to edge mode and uh, select these edges. And move and sue. Just unfold it once and uh, lay out. Select this and uh, isolate it. Go to create and select the camera based. Go to edge mode, select these edges. Then cut and unfold. And layout. Now select this shell and uh, and orient shell. Same for this one. And uh, these two. Now select all of them one more time and layout. Now select these two wires and isolate them. We created them with sweep mesh tool so they are already unwrapped. So just go to shell mode, select both of them and unfold. Now select and layout. Now let's select this uh, floor and this ceiling. So unwrap the floor first. So go to create and automatic. Select the edges and move and sew. Then layout. Now let's do the same thing for this ceiling. Just create and uh, automatic. Select the edges and move and sew. and layout now select this wall and again go to create select the automatic mapping select the edges then move and sew and layout <clears throat> now let's select this thing and create a duplicate place this one here and create more copies like this and we can select all of them and then combine also go to shell mode, select all of them and then layout. Now you can combine these things with this pipe and uh, layout. Let's add these wires also with this pipe. Let's put them in the same UV layout. So combine and uh, Go to UV shell, then layout. Uh, let's assign a new material for these things. So add a blin and uh, let's rename it as pipes and wires. 
so we have selected this uh, floor and this ceiling so let's assign some new materials on these things as well like this wall and uh, again assign a blend and uh, rename it as wall this one again a blend and uh, this is floor like this one and uh, this is the ceiling now let's select this door frame and uh, isolate it Go to create and select automatic. Uh, rotate these shells like this. Now select all these shells and uh, layout. Bring back your model and uh, select this one. And again isolate. Go to create and automatic. Here you can select these edges and move and sew. Select this one and uh, these two edges again move and sew. Select all of them, then layout. You can select these two and combine. Then select all of them and layout. Now let's select this handle and create automatic. Select the edges, then move and sew. Now select everything, then unfold, then uh, layout. And now let's select this one and uh, use automatic for this one as well. then layout now let's select this one and this one separate them now select these three and create a duplicate place these ones here select this handle and uh, go to modify center pivot place that handle on this side Now let's select this bar and go to create then automatic. Again select the edges, move and sew. Now you can select all these objects. And combine them. Select all of them, then layout. Select this one, create a duplicate place on this side select these two combine them go to create and automatic and these are going to be our glasses so you can select these two then assign a new material blend and rename it as uh, glass and Rename these ones as the metal door. So we are almost done with the unwrapping. Let's unwrap this light. 
select all these components and isolate now let's select uh, these things and go to create then automatic select the edges move and sew select both of them and layout now select this light go to create and automatic move and sew layout now let's select this thing and go to create then automatic select the edge and move and sew select this one then unfold and also this one select both of them and unfold Select all of them and the layout. Assign a new material to this and rename it as light. So we have unwrapped everything now let's just select everything and export them for texturing in substance painter now we can select everything here and uh, go to file then export selection and rename your mesh then export so that's it for today and in the next video we are going to import all these assets in substance painter and texture it i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching